Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today do I have a review for you. This is the LG OK99 Home Entertainment System. Let's check it out. Now guys, if you're looking for a home entertainment system that's going to satisfy your audio needs, but also your party needs, as you can see with the speaker, you'll want to consider the LG OK99. This is a award-winning CES 2018 product that is definitely going to be the life of the party. So in this video review we're going to look at all the features, we're going to go over all the functions, we're going to listen to how this speaker performs, and I guarantee you that once you're done you're going to love this speaker because it also does karaoke too. Let's go ahead and check it out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So let's take a look at some of the specs for just for a second. Now, first of all, this is definitely going to be the life of your party. It has 1,800 watts of total power with an LED DJ lighting system. Uh, the main speaker, as you can see here, is a 12-inch woofer that has incredible bass, as you'll hear uh, from some of the audio tests that we're going to be doing. It has a DJ-like deck, which has party accelerators, has some dials that you can do some scratching, uh, and also has a karaoke center that's going to allow you to connect connect two uh, microphones and sing along with your favorite tunes. It has audio filters that's going to give you the ability to have bass, soprano, helium views, robotic views, um, even duets. And the great thing about it is that it also has a handle with wheels. So you're going to be able to move this around wherever you have to. The speaker also does have multiple inputs, so you're going to be able to connect this via Bluetooth. You're going to be able to run a CD. Uh, you can also plug in a direct aux cable. You'll also be able to play music directly from a USB stick, if that's something that you choose, or just stream directly from your phone. It also has a multi-jukebox application that's going to allow you to download an app to your Android phone and then uh, control playback and music. Uh, you could use this also as a uh, connection to your home entertainment system. And I'm telling you, once you listen to this speaker, you'll be convinced as to why you'd want to do that. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the controls. We'll look at all the features and we'll check it out. All right, so we're going to change the audio source so that you can hear exactly what I hear when we start playing music from the LG OK99. Uh, let's review some of the controls that you have here on the main control cluster and we'll talk about the things that you can do with all of these different controls to really spice up your party. So first up, you do have the ability to turn on uh, your speaker uh, here using this button. Uh, you have a USB uh, mode and as well as a demo mode here. So you can actually create music tracks and record them to a USB stick if that's something that you'd like. You have your mic controls and you also then have your master volume. So you have an individual master control and an individual uh, volume control. This is going to allow you to control your uh, mics. You can have up to two mics and the system does include a mic uh, that I'll show you shortly. You have here um, several controls that are going to give you the ability to change uh, your voice um, and you're going to see that in a couple seconds. Uh, you have this control over here which is a party accelerator. Let me go ahead and, and kick this up so you can hear how this works. So you heard that? We'll do that one more time. And what you can do is you can switch this from different modes. So I'm going to go to mode 2. We'll go to mode 3. So obviously you can use this in your parties just to spice things up as you're playing music. Uh, this area right here is really about controlling your uh, CD. So as you uh, connect a CD or put a CD in the included CD tray, what you'll be able to do is go fast, uh, you know, forward, back, skip, play, pause your music, and eject uh, the CD tray. You do also have um, some other uh, wireless uh, linking functionality that you have here that allows you to connect two speakers, these speakers, the OK99 together, to be able to have an even more booming effect. I can tell you that this speaker is incredibly loud and you can imagine what it would be like if you had two of these going at the same time. Now over here at the very bottom you do have the ability to control and do uh, DJ loops. Uh, you have over here uh, DJ scratching capabilities. On the same side over here you have also to do that, as well as various controls here, they're going to give you different lighting effects, which we'll see. And also, you can adjust your EQ to not only be, uh, I would say, uh, 
for the music that would be like uh, classical music, jazz, but you could also do regional. So this will support also various regions, including um, music genres like reggaeton, salsa, merengue. Uh, so really accentuating the music that you're listening to. Uh, and then you also you have uh, this searching capability. You do have uh, these party starters, so I'll go ahead and press this so you can see what it sounds like. And you can hear how thumping that was. And the interesting thing is that as you do this, the lighting effects also change. So what we're going to do is going to pull back for a second and I'm going to go through uh, the audio controls when it comes to vocals in a second. And so you can see how these things combine. You do have in this area here, uh, this is really for the karaoke uh, type effects. So you can change your voice. There's uh, different, there's voice cancellation. So the neat thing about this feature is that you can listen to a normal track, Bluetooth track on your phone, um, something on YouTube, and by pressing voice canceling, it's going to lessen the amount of the artist's voice in the track and allow you to speak or sing over them. So it's kind of muffling or bringing down the voice track and then allowing the audio and the music track to be louder, including your voice. So there's no real special karaoke CDs that you need. And literally what you can do is choose any song that you have on your phone and even using an, um, you know, these, the software that you find on the both Apple and uh, Google Marketplace where you get the lyrics, you can sing along, so it's pretty cool. You can adjust your pitch, your key, your mic echo, vo um, the actual vocal effects. So a lot of features here. So let's take a step back. We're going to try some of these um, audio features so you can hear what the system does for you. Now LG includes uh, this microphone and cable, which is uh, pretty, pretty long, and it's gonna be beneficial if you're using this in a karaoke mode. It only comes with one, though, so if you need a second one, you'd have to purchase that, but you can use any standard mic that's available in any music store for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it here. Uh, the unit also does come with a remote control that allows you to control the lights, control all the features, and it's pretty robust here, as you can see it right here. So it has the ability to increase and decrease the volume, um, again, all the functions that you find in the upper area, you can do this remotely, which is going to really free you up, especially if you are DJing a party um, in your backyard and you don't want to always come up to the actual device. You can do this um, and just control it. And remember, it does have both the manual as well as Bluetooth connectivity, so you can be 30 feet away and then just rocking your party. So let me just show you now some of the features that you get from the vocal settings. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to switch. I'm going to actually use the mic, so the mic is on, and you're going to hear the vocal effects. So, so as you can hear now, now you're hearing an echo as I'm speaking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the different vocal effects. So this is duet, and you can hear that there's an echo. So this would be great if you have two people, two men. Uh, it basically has a man duet. And then here you can switch over to a woman duet, and that's going to change the voice, um, pitch it accordingly to, to a female's voice. You won't really hear much on mine, but let's keep on going through the different effects. Uh, I'll go to the bass voice. So listen to this. This is my voice. And I really not doing anything other than speaking. So it changes it to this really creepy voice that's bass based. So let's go ahead and change the vocal effect now to soprano. This, this is, is the soprano, soprano test. test. I don't know if I'm too crazy about this one, but hey, those of you who like soprano, you can use it. So that was the soprano. We're going to go ahead and switch now to helium. This, this is, is the helium test. test. And my, my voice, voice sounds, sounds like, like I just sucked in a whole lot of helium. So that's the helium event effect. This is kind of my favorite. Uh, and you guys will probably pick this up why just now. Danger Bill Robinson, danger. So this is the robot effect. This is the robot octopus, the robot to the robot. So this is the robot effect. So that was the robot effect. Kind of dorky, kind of geeky, but that one I like. I don't know how practical it's going to be, but it's definitely one feature that you could use. Let's go ahead to the next one. Um, and that just cycles you back to the duet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try some beats so that you can hear what the audio sounds like and get a perception of the audio quality. I'm going to bring uh, the volume all the way down and raise it all the way up uh, to the max volume so that you can hear what I hear. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and, and start a couple of tracks. This is really going to be highlighting the bass, the mids, and the highs so you can hear what's going on. I'm also going to increase the volume completely so that you can get uh, a full effect from the speaker. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now this one's really going to press the bass. So listen clearly. Check this out. Lower. I, I'm having a hard time hearing right now, but let's go ahead and raise it one more time. Alright, let's try one other track. Alright, here goes one other track. Distortion-free at the maximum possible volumes, 180 watts. Incredible sound from LG OK99. All right, now, for those of you who are interested in the mic inputs, here you have both mic inputs. You do have an IR blaster here. You also have a CD tray. So this is going to allow you to place your CD um, and listen to music coming from the CD. This is great if you have someone who's you know just bringing music over and wants to hear something that they have in their own CD, uh, and that's and that's fine. I prefer using the uh, Bluetooth or direct connection to it. Um, now this speaker does support or have um, the support for an antenna as well. So let's go ahead and look at some of the light changes and see how things will work as you switch to different light patterns. So now this pattern is called the party pattern. So you can see all the different flashing effects that's going on. I want to switch to the next one. This is called uh, fire. All right, so this is the fire pattern. And so that's a fireworks actually. This is space. You can see the different ap approach there. Uh, this is water. So it kind of flows a little bit from left to right. This is forest. This is city glow. And this is the off mode. So yes, if you don't want to see the lights, you can have it off too. We'll go back to the basic one, and this is rhythm. And you did notice that as I was playing the music, uh, the the lights were in sync with the actual music, very similar to what you'd want in a DJ setting. And I had to say that these are bright. So if you do have them outside at night um, or in your home, um, this will work really well. The other thing that I've done is I've connected this to my uh, surround sound system. I've used this outside when we've had theater night, and, and this the rumbling that you get out of this, especially if you have a you know a, a movie that really takes advantage of the bass, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the features that you have up here that you can use to control are something that are going to be uh, pretty f fun for those of you who are into you know the whole scratching type. Uh, type of, um, I would say, exercise that you see right here. Uh, if that's something that you're into, you can definitely uh, get into that. And all the horning and sounds that we talked about will raise this volume so that you, so you can see the what happens with each effect. So if I touch this one, see how that effect took into place. Let's try this one. And the neat thing about this is that not only do you get the lighting effect coming from the actual LEDs that you see here, but you also are getting them on the speaker. So the speaker itself is lighting up. We'll pull back just so you can see that. So you can see really clearly that the lighting effects carry throughout, all the way down to the speaker and all the way coming up. Um, again, very, very well constructed. 
love the lighting effect and the overall aesthetics of the speaker. Now it is heavy and that's why it does have wheels. Let me show you where you would grab it from the back. All right, so on the back here, you do have a cooling fan that's going to cool your unit. You have additional inputs here for audio. You have an aux connection here, FM antenna, and then also you have a optical out. You do have, uh, this is your handle here, and you notice all the way in the bottom that there are uh, two wheels, uh, rollers, that are going to allow you to tilt and pretty much move this almost like if it was luggage. It is heavy and it also has handles on the side just in case you need some help if you're going to be taking this outside or you're going to take it with you uh, to an event at a community center because you just want to uh, be the DJ in that center. So a lot of flexibility when it comes to mobility and design. Alright guys, so that concludes our review of the LG OK99 Home Entertainment System. This is a fantastic speaker for those of you who are looking to really uh, rock your home, community center, backyard. If you want to be the DJ and you want something that's loud, clear, crisp, and has all these cool features, karaoke too, you'll want to check this out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.